Coincidentally, I was doing an 80 knots cross check late last year and it just so happens it is also at 80 knots which is what Airbus recommends. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel Captain SQ where we're going to discuss on Airbus systems, emergency procedures and supplementary techniques on how to fly the plane. Hey guys, what is up? Today, we are going to talk about Airbus latest Disclaimer, always refer to your company manuals. This video is merely a guide. Recently, an article from Reuters came out and the headline was Airlines urge to tighten Airbus A320 checks after COVID storage. The European Union Aviation Safety Agency or EASA said that an increasing number of operational disruption have been occurring due to airspeed discrepancies. But there are no reports of any injuries or aircraft or system issues. This problem is kind of to be expected as we know the pandemic has been raging on for a while now and most aircrafts are basically on the ground hibernating. Therefore, there is bound to be dirt, insects or nests that might settle near the aircraft pitot systems. Do check out my videos on unreliable airspeed procedure. So with regards to that, Airbus have been proactive and releasing an OEB, an Operational Engineering Bulletin to address this issue. It is a precautionary measure that Airbus is taking. As we all know, airspeed is everything. Our A320 has a mode called the Rotation Mode. Essentially, it is a pitch rate demand control law which provides tail strike protection. This feature is available for newer aircrafts. It is normally active from 70 knots during takeoff roll until 10 seconds after you lift off. In simple words, if you have high airspeed, the deflection of the elevator is low. If your airspeed is high, then you will have a smaller elevator deflection. Flight controls work better at higher airspeed. So now the main denominator is the airspeed. If you get the wrong airspeed, you might get the wrong deflection. Let us take an example. We all learn from examples. Let's say you have two faulty ADR and one correct ADR. By faulty, I mean two ADRs are giving the wrong airspeed. The aircraft might reject the correct ADR giving the correct airspeed and accept the wrong ADRs. This will provide erroneous airspeed which will affect the rotation mode of the plane. Without going into detail on how Airbus calculates the error, they have decided after simulation studies etc to take a value of, wait for it, a 20 knots airspeed error. 20 knots airspeed error might cause the rotation mode to be degraded and may result in an unstable flight path. Remember that Airbus is being proactive about this and there are no case reports. Which brings us to Airbus latest bulletin. Essentially what the bulletin is saying that at any time if the pilots notice a discrepancy of 20 knots, especially with the pilot's PFD and standby instruments, the ICs, they will have to abort the takeoff. They have added an 80 knots cross check on top of the 100 knots cross check. Coincidentally, I was doing an 80 knots cross check late last year, and it just so happens it is also at 80 knots, which is what Airbus recommends. This will mean that pilots have to make sure that the ICs, the integrated standby instrument system, boy, that's a mouthful must be serviceable before each flight. Cross-check with your MEL. So at 80 knots, cross-check your PFD with the standby instruments and at 100 knots, cross-check again against two PFDs, the Captain and FO PFD. For the latest updates and news, subscribe, click on the notification bell and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.